We'll start again. We'll start again. Okay. It's a big hello from Shane and Tyler, and welcome to um, Lonely Grape TV. But more importantly, thank you for helping me bread, spread McLaren Vale wine to the world. Got my lovely assistant yet again, who uh, just loves to help me with these videos. So yes, he's helping again. And today, we're going to taste a wine that is an unusual grape variety. Okay, something that's a little bit unusual. Okay, um, Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo is, you know, the grape Barolo wines from Italy uh, come from the Nebbiolo grape. Now, I've just tasted a few Nebbiolos recently uh, in McCrayan Vale, and I think it can make a marvellous wine if done well. Very different to um, other wines. But, um, you know, this one, please. I want this one first, okay? So, um, look, we'll just show you the wine first. So my lovely assistant can give it to me. Now, this is called the Neb. Okay, very interesting label on it. Right? Now, the Neb, if we get the definition right, and yes, I have to put my glasses on, but if we get the definition right, the Neb. Neb is a noun, which is called a beak or a bill. The nose, the sharp point or projection part of something. And it goes on further on the back label. In the 16th century, Dr. Schnabel van von Rom worked to rid England of the plague. The doctor's beak was packed with concentration of herbs and spices to purify the air. The neb also is packed with a purity of fruit concentration. And it goes on a few more things about the and wine. Also, right? uh, my favourite thing is to be on Facebook, which I am now. <laughs> Did you hear that? His favourite thing is to be on Facebook. <laughs> now, this wine's been open a few hours. So I am looking forward to a wine that has opened up nicely. Now, I will say this is 2008, and there is Cabernet added to the wine. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the wine is a little bit lighter. Yes, it is. Than uh, what you would get from, say, from a, a standard Shiraz from McLaren Vale. Now, Nick the winemaker, Nick the winemaker says the Cabernet is there to add a little bit of body, but also colour to the wine. Um, Nebbiolo can make a wine that is is quite light, and people will not uh, like it as much, or, or think there's a problem with the wine being so light. So it's added there to the Cabernet's added to make a bit of body. Oh, I've got my glasses on still. <laughs> now, I have tasted um, previous vintages of the Neb before. You may have even seen them on earlier versions of the Lonely Grape. How come you have to, how come you have to shake it so long? Well, that's, that's to get the air in there and get the, all the aromas up there so Daddy can get his nose in there and smell everything. <laughs> Real Turkish delight. Um, a little bit of orange peel, burnt orange maybe, blood orange. Mm. Um, not as much as uh, the previous versions of the Neb, the 06 and the 07. Now time to taste it. Of, I will. And what do we say when we're going to taste it? Mm. We're doing the uh. wanky thing. <laughs> Isn't that what Mum says? Yeah. We're doing the wanky thing, so we better do the wanky thing. And while he's doing that... Uh. I just forgot what I was going to say. I don't like the smell of it, but all of you will. And I won't taste it too. Mm. Don't spill it out. It's well, it goes in the bucket. Now, those orange characters really come through strongly here. And I think uh, blood orange is, is the best way to describe it. There is some oak there, but the oak is subtle. Um, I suggest it's French oak. I'm not getting the coconutty, vanilla, vanilla-y type things coming through. Um, and oh, just hang on, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. But really, really enjoyable um, in the combination. So nothing's um, overpowering there in terms of the oak. The fruit, as I said, there's um, that Turkish delight character still coming through from the nose. But here is the orange, the blood orange. Um, maybe even a little bit of grapefruit, hint of zest. Now, to me, a wine, until I'm, I was introduced to Nebbiolo, I never got the orange flavours in wine. 
So this is just sensational. Look, I really enjoy this wine. Uh, if you look up theneb.com, I think it's just theneb.com. Uh, it might actually have it written on the back here. Let's have a look. No, nebiolo.net.au, uh, with all the W's in front of it, of course. If you uh, look that up, I believe the wine is $35 a bottle uh, from the website. He loves his wines. That's I do. it. I do. Well, on that note, I couldn't have said it any better than that. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us here at Lonely Grape TV, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>